Hi my loves, so today we are starting the switch from kibble to raw food. Kibble has a lot of grains in it, um, carbohydrates, um, higher amount that then that would follow um, their natural ancestral diet. So we are going to be trying a raw food with her today. I am just hoping it helps her with her weight management. That's always been a problem no matter how much um, I try to control the kibble it doesn't it, it doesn't matter it seems like the weight is always on her and now i'm noticing um hip dysplasia in her hope that it helps maybe with inflammation um, if she's allergic to anything raw food's also really good for dogs with allergies so maybe um, if we reduce the inflammation a little bit in her diet um, her hips won't be so sore she's only two years old so if i could go back in time i probably wouldn't have done kibble from the get-go but it is what it is. Um, I also know that some people take like hip and joint supplements. So again, like if you can supplement and help the hip and joints a little bit, um, then you know maybe a change of diet will help her hips and joints. So this is how the raw food looks. It's got chicken, it's got the chicken bone, chicken organ. It's got um, fruits and veggies, and uh, we're going to give it a go um, and see how she likes it. Okay, wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. I thought maybe there would be some more resistance to this. But she loved it. Okay, that's good, Daisy. So obviously do your own research, but I'm going to summarize my findings for why raw food was um, the way we went. First of all, for raw food, um, when you cook it, it denatures. Dogs weren't evolved to cook things. So um, that means they were meant to eat things that are uncooked. So if we look, talk about like the evolutionary lineage of a dog, let's say they've been around for this amount of time and then we've domesticated them for this amount of time and then raw, instead of raw food, introducing kibble, maybe this amount of time. So when you think about it th like that, um, there's no way that we could have bred out their natural ability to break down raw food. Their stomach acid is a hundred times more acidic, strong for that. And wh why is that? It's because as we know, there is a lot of bacteria and illnesses that can come from eating raw, raw meat. Dogs have been evolved to figure that out, right? She's just finishing her bowl now. <laughs> I just want to touch base on these things because I am not a dog nutritionist. I am not a dog scientist. I am not all of these things, but when we really take a minute to think about it, all of these things make sense. Another thing I've heard is that it can cause behavioral issues. Now, if you are a crunchy mom like I am, <laughs> you'll notice that when we feed our kids like sugary processed foods or just the things that are not good for them. You'll notice really quickly because their bodies are so small, their reaction to a little bit of sugar is much more visible. If you are a mom like that, you know that when we feed their feed them improper diets, then hi sweetie. You're awake. Hi. <laughs> um I, I'm just wrapping up and I'll come get you in a second, okay? Oh, there's Valerie. Anyways, when we feed them improper things, then it causes behavioral issues. So some people actually switch to raw to fix behavioral issues in their dogs. Okay, I'm super excited about this. Um, I reached out to Canino saying that I was doing this video and they sent me a free box um, all the way from Montreal. So there's some heavy duty <laughs> planning that had to go into this. So thank you guys for the package. Daisy's excited, I'm sure. Okay, let's open this puppy. So obviously it depends on like how big your dog is because you feed by weight. It's like two to three percent of your dog's weight. Weight, But this box of 40 pounds will last Daisy almost a month. So like this is like a big deal. They only ship 
locally to like residents of Montreal. I usually get my Camino from like a distributor in Ontario. So for them to send this to me, this is like a whole thing because they need to keep the food frozen and like fresh. So thank you, Canino, for that. That's so cool. Ah! Oh, that's so cute. They sent a shirt as well. That's awesome. I have to go put this in the deep freeze, but again, thank you, Canino, for the box. <laughs> So like I said, I did reach out to Canino saying, hey, I'm doing this video. This is kind of like the direction I'm going with it. I'm just wondering if you want to get me an affiliate link so that anyone who's watching this video can get a discount um, if they're ordering. So they did want me to let you all know that if you're ordering from the Canino website, it is, like I said, only local in Montreal. Um, so the link would only be valid for those of you in Montreal. So. There you go. Anyone who's watching from Montreal, you get a discount. But how cute is this shirt? So anyways, I just wanted like an affiliate link for you guys. Um, but yeah, they sent, ended up sending me a free box as well for Daisy. So that's awesome. Look at that. Isn't that nice, Daisy? Isn't that nice? So last time I updated you guys, I was kind of going over the benefits of raw food. That was about five, six weeks in. Right now I'm filming February 8th, so almost three months since we started the raw food. And I wanted to talk about the changes that I've seen, like concrete changes in Daisy since switching from kibble to raw. Number one is the weight loss. Um, was hovering between 81 to 83 pounds. Now she hovers around 75 to 77, which is amazing because I said uh, before that the kibble, it was like no matter what we did, no matter how much we limited the kibble, it seemed like the weight would not come off of her. So that is a huge one. Movement, hip wise. So the weight coming off is definitely helping with her hips. When I first started filming and when we first decided to do this, um, she had a really, really sore pulled muscle in her hip. And so she's since healed from that. She's moving around great again. Um, and yeah, the weight definitely is helping somewhat with her mobility. Number three is uh, behavior. Um, I noticed that she's a lot more relaxed. She's a guard dog by nature, so she's half Akita. So she does tend to be on guard all the time. Um, that is also why she loves being around the kids so much, is because she really does believe it's her job to watch over them. Sometimes she can get a little anxious or stressed. Let's say someone knocks at the door, there's someone um, else in the house. Um, or if we are on a walk, she doesn't like any dogs getting in between her and the babies. So I have noticed she's a lot more laid back with that um, and put at ease with that. So I, I don't know if that is the raw food um, directly or uh, maybe because her hips are feeling better, she's less stressed about her hips and she's a bit more relaxed. It could be any of those things, but I do notice that she is more relaxed, laid back, not so on guard all the time. And number four, which is kind of a weird one, um, I know that some people switch to raw to like have like a shiny coat or fur or whatever. Um, I notice I have to pick out less mats in Daisy's fur. She is a long haired dog. I have to brush her. I have to get the mats out. Um, so I have noticed less matting as well in her fur. Thank you again to Canino for sending me the box. And again, that affiliate link is in the description box for any of my viewers in Montreal if you would like to try raw food for the first time or if you are looking to switch um, and try out um, something different. I decided to try Canino just because I was trying um, raw food for the first time. Canino has been super awesome to work with, though so they have definitely gained a customer for life. Um, Daisy really loves her food and is doing really well on it. So that's awesome. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys next time.